Hey guys, I'm Phil in the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. We're still on Cuckoo Mountain and not jumping into paintings properly. Uh, we just got the first star, which was slip sliding away. Now we got little penguin lost. Now where did we see a penguin? Hmm. Well, uh, I'll take this time now actually to show you the entire mountain because it is a very large level and you didn't really get to see it last uh, last episode because I just kind of went down the slide and we skipped it all. Woo! And it's so much fun to just kind of slide around. Whoa, and be very careful here because you can easily just keep sliding and fall. And there's a snowman's head. Hello, snowman's head. We'll talk to you another time. You look kind of bored, to be honest. There's more snowmen. And this bridge is kind of hazardous. <laughs> the the snowmen are just going to jump back and forth. And I'm going to take my time because I've been dying a lot lately. And I just want to make sure I don't screw it up. So it's like, ah ha ha. Timing. Phil's the best at it. And down we go. There's a big penguin. Let's talk to the big penguin. Hello, big pe- Ow. You got my baby! Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole world. They say she has my beak. I just can't remember. All of a sudden, now I have a Texas accent. Uh, so yeah, we gotta find her baby. Uh, and guess what? There's a baby up here! You saw her as I was, like, climbing down. Uh, now just to get to the top of this log cabin, which I will screw up a few times. Remember, back back to where you want to jump when you're on a, on a pole. Hello, baby penguin! Come here. Come here, you gotta punch the penguin. Punch the penguin! There you go. That's not my baby! She looks nothing like me! Really? Okay. Well, that sucks. Come on. It looks just like... Come here, baby. P punch the baby! Punch the baby! Damn it. I didn't want to show her again. Alright, so that's not her baby. And obviously the game is, like, made to, like... You're gonna see that baby. You're gonna bring it over. Uh... And you think you're so smart, too. Like, haha, I'll just go up here. Uh, so go all the way back to the start. And there is a secret warp right here. Right right here. There we go. Whoop, right to the top. So you don't have to climb up, which is awesome. And uh, those of you with a really good uh, memory... Warning, cold, cold, crevice, blah, blah, blah. Uh, a good memory. Remember that there's a penguin at the top of the mountain here. Hello, penguin. What are you doing all the way up here? Did you climb all the way up here yourself? And it's avoiding you, too. And you're just like, I just want to punch you. Punch them. The pe Damn it, penguin. Come back here. I need to punch Punch the penguin. And uh, now we can just go down. Whee! Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna slide down? Alright. Well, let's go the really fast way. You've already seen me traverse the somewhat normal way. Time to go the uh, much more dangerous, but... Ah, oh, damn it, penguin! Penguin! Uh, this is the stylus. Here's the swag run. Check this out. Bad camera angles. Swag. Swag right there. Yeah! Woo! And... Woo! There we go! Here's your penguin lady! Mario's babysitting service. Oh, penguin, no! Come back! Oh, God, no, penguin! Oh, thank God. Oh, penguin, you scare me. All right, penguin, come here. That is so dangerous, penguin. Come here. Come here, penguin. All right. There, penguin mama. Next time, keep an eye on your penguin. And I like how she, the other penguin's just there. It's like, well, you have a, a new child. You found my precious, precious baby! Here's a star. You know that princess you want to save? You need the star to do it? I ain't giving it to you until you do the shit I should be doing. So, oh, I love how she's angry. She's like, give my penguin back. I'm just like, oh, the penguin's gonna go. Say goodbye, penguin. Goodbye, penguin. No, I can't do it. I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> I couldn't do it. You can throw the penguin off, but I'm not... I'm not that sort of monster. I mean, I am. I'm absolutely that sort of monster. But, uh, whatever. It's a little penguin lost. Yeah. And pound the ground. Hurt your butt. That would really hurt your, like, what is it, coccyx? Is that the name of the bone that's, like, the spinal down below the foot? Where your butt is? Your ass bone? What's your ass bone called? Question of the day. What's your ass bone called? Everyone, everyone comment about what that is. Hey, Mario, buddy, how's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast letter kind of guy. I know speed when I see it. Yes, sir. I'm the world champion's letter, you know. How about a race? So this one, you got to race the penguin, and here we go. And they're off. The penguin starts out strong, but Mario, being the fat little plumber he is, he just kind of turns around, and oh, he avoids a death there. Collect some coins, because why wouldn't you collect coins while you're racing? Oh, no, and the penguin catches up. What's Mario going to do? Oh, no. Mario's having none of that shit. Mario is... A shitty driver, and he dies. 
Uh, you have to beat the penguin on a penguin race, of course. Uh, you can't use the um, the shortcut I showed you last episode. It needs to be legitimate, uh, as legitimate as it can be, anyways. Anyways, back to the race. And we're back on the track. Mario's taking over the big penguin, and he takes the turn a little bit better this time. So he survives getting those coins. Gotta make money, gotta get women. So, oh no, the penguin takes over, so Mario needs to take it to the next gear. And oh, he makes it, and then makes the mistake of his life. Bonk, oh Mario, Mario. Alright, so I actually do beat him this time. Uh, that took me a couple tries, because I'm trying to be so aggressive with my movement. Uh... Penguin? Oh, he's just gonna walk, eh? Come on, you lost. Give it up. You broke my record! Oh, you broke my record. I'm either very cold or I'm Richard Nixon. <laughs> I guess that's what Richard Nixon sounds like in my head. Give me that! Give me that star! Give me that star! Yeah, that's right. So all these penguins have bogarted all these stars, and you're just like, give me those stars! I need to save my princess, man! And they're like, no, no, we're not doing anything for you. So that's the big penguin race. Yeah. You might have noticed too, by the way, uh, when you get 50 coins and, and don't die, 50 coins and you actually survive, you get, um, you get a life. So yay. This is the fourth star, which of course is the eighth red coins thing. Woo! Down the slide one more time. Uh, we're gonna avoid the penguin, which we can't. He's very talkative, so. Uh, I'm also gonna go for the 100 coin star, which is why I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to do the slide first because there's more coins here. Grab that blue coin. Blue coins are worth five coins. That's awesome. Try to get as many coins as we can. We have no time limit here, so I'm just taking it easy. If I miss some coins, it's not a big deal. Getting the coins now on the slide just makes it so that there's less coins I have to get outside the mountain, or uh, yeah, on the mountain itself. And also, if you're doing the, the coins on the mountain, I don't think there's enough coins on the mountain itself without doing the slide. Uh, to get the 100 coins. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, after you've done, tell me what uh, what the spinal bone coccyx is. You can answer that question for me. Uh, but basically, if you get 100 coins on the slide, the, the star will pop up on the slide, and you need to go back on the slide to get that, that, that star. So, 76 coins right off the bat. That is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do not get that star. It's sleazy. See, that all rhymed. That's all part of it. I, I have this written out. <laughs> Uh, if you collect the star again, you will be warped out of the uh, out of the level, as if basically you've done nothing. So don't do that. So get red coins, get red coins, get women. <laughs> I could say get red coins, get the B word, but I, I really think that's very, I, I I think that's very disrespectful. So I'm not gonna say it, but say what you want, I guess. Uh, so there's there's the two coins down here, and then there's the third one right here, and we're gonna warp back to the top. Warping back to the top like a boss. Whooping around like a boss. Mario's a boss. And if I could get it right, like a boss. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So there's a couple up here. And I also just kind of want to roam around. Uh, we're actually going to actually explore this time because I need those coins. And up I go. Let's try that again. Up I go. There we go. Hello, you. Ow, right in the back. Jumping on these guys gets you three coins. Also, it propels you up because they're propellers, uh, which is great. You really do want to... Uh, you really do want to um, use those in, in other levels to get some coins and stars and all that. Down we go. A lot of sliding in this world. That's I think that's probably why it's my, my favorite early level in the game, because there's so much sliding. I love the sliding. Try to get up here. I don't make it. Watch. See? I just fail. Uh, up there is a blue coin switch. I actually don't need it, because I only need three more coins, so it's not a big deal. Whatever. Here's the star. Or there's the star. There's the star. 100 coin star. These get to be the most frustrating stars in the end of the game, by the way, when you're looking around for coins and the levels are really treacherous. This one's, like, not super hard. Um, I skip a coin here. I, I do go back for it, of course. Uh, but you'll see where I made the mistake here. It was just kind of just out of my sight. So. There's one around here. I remember when I was a kid. When I was a kid, this was uh, this was the coin that I'd always miss. It's kind of right here. And I want to be really careful because I'm just going to be slip sliding everywhere. It is right there. Look at that. That is a that is a hideaway coin. Hideaway coin. My goodness. How dare they? What did I hit there? Nothing. I hit nothing. Cross the bridge. I have enough life. I'm just going to run through the snowman. Do you want to crash through a snowman? There we go. Uh, one more red coin right here. And a quick jump. And I didn't make it. Up there is where the uh, star appears when I get the coins. And there's... Oh, no. God, no. <laughs> Woo. Down I go. Down I go. All right. So wall jumps for no fun. I've got six coins. I'm missing two of them. And here's here's my little little brain going. I don't remember where they are. What do I do? 
I'm just gonna fool around for a bit. And then I decide, you know what? There is something I can do over here in the meantime, which is avoid the star. Avoid it. Woo! And you can see there, there's a, a pink ba bomb thing and a little gondola. Let's get on this. Woo! In real life, this would scare the shit out of me. I am afraid of heights, and I'm afraid of being suspended in midair with a rope thing. And careful jump. Woo! Might as well talk to this guy right now. Set up the cannon, because we're going to need that for a later star. And open up. There we go. The only cannon I believe... No, no, there's two cannons in this level. At least two. And... Danger! Strong gust, but the wind makes a comfy ride. That's just basically telling you, like, there's no... Like, you can wait for the gondola. Or you can just do this. Whee! You love that. Uh, those gusts of winds are in some levels. Uh, most of them, they're not in them. Most levels don't have them, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, they're kind of weird that they're there, but they're to keep you from falling in places that are very easy to fall. It's kind of like a, just a little... Just to help you out. So down here's where I want to go. Yeah. Very careful. Camera! Come to me, camera! Camera! And you can't go through walls, which is frustrating. And even though I really should have gotten that one up because I only have two lives left, I don't go for it. But... Oh, wait, do I do I get this? Yeah! Uh, oh! Do I come back here? Oh, it disappears, like, right before it gets me. Anyways, here's the last coin. The one I could have gotten earlier. Bam. And there's the star. So back I go across... Do I go across the Perilous Bridge again? Yes, I believe I do. And there's a, there's a cannon right down there. I'm going to talk to this guy. Oh, no! Talk about out-of-body experiences! My body is melted away! Have you run into any headhunters lately? Ha ha ha! What a funny joke. Actually, no, I'm just joking. That, that joke left me cold. Anyways, across the bridge we go. Jump over the, the snowmen. I've already done my my required frozen joke about snowmen for this episode. And here's the long jump to end all long jumps. Oh, no, or I could just read the sign. Long jump. Oh, there we go. Nice. And bam. Definitely one of the funner red coins because you really do have to explore a lot of the mountain. I really do enjoy that. The red coins uh, were sort of everywhere. I do like when they're kind of everywhere and it forces you to go a lot of places. But at the same time, it's fun having them in, in specific areas like TikTok Clock and Wet Dry World, which you'll see in lots of episodes, for, lots of episodes from now. Snowman's Lost Head! Ah, oh, so that's Snowman down there. We do have to help him, so let's help him out. This is a super frustrating uh, uh, star. If you if you kind of do it, in, I want to say incorrectly, I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anyone in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. And then he takes off before you. It's like you said you'd follow me! Come back! Ah, you bastard! I'm trying to help you! Uh, you need to lead him to the head down there. Uh, it's kind of finicky the way it goes, and you'll see what I mean. Woo! Down I go. Finicky, finicky, finicky. You just want to make sure you turn to this, and then kind of, like, head up to it. I go to the left side, which is the wrong thing. I should have went to the right side a little bit to aim the aim the, the head. And you're like, God damn it, head, come back! Come back! And... <laughs> Unfortunately, Mario, you are not able to catch him. You were not able to get the snowman's body. The snowman's body was in another castle. So let's try that again. <laughs> uh, whoa! I love how Mario just sounds like that. He's got a lot of personality. This is the first game in which Mario has tons of personality. Because, I mean, hey, Charles Martinet. This is, again, not the first episode where he voices him, but Charles Martinet is fantastic as Mario. He lends this uh, childlike wonder to Mario, which is weird considering he's a... Uh, an older gentleman in a must with a mustache. Anyways, go on the other side of the snowman's head. And there we go. And I'm I'm hoping against hope. I'm like, uh, and then it just yeah, it kinda curves there. Ow! Come on, I just want to get in on that action. I wanted part of that snowman threesome going on. Perfect, what a great new body here. There's a present for you. Everyone's just holding on to stars for you. That is that is three characters that actually hold a star. Which is weird, that's a lot of them. Anyways, uh, that is it for today's episode. I know the last two episodes have been fairly short. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, doing this outside of, like... Oh yeah, you've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door of the big star. Before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Everything it talks about right here is actually stuff that happens in the basement. So it's actually kind of funny. So now I can actually complete the basement. I could go on to the last level if I want, the last area, the attic. Anyways, I'll try to make the next episode the regular length. I'm filming blanks. Take care, guys. I'll meet you inside the cool, cool mountain. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.